welcome to Terribly Accurate. Whether you're new or returning, um, thanks for showing up here and I'd encourage you to check out the description box below after you're done with the video so um, that you can see my little love note as to how much I appreciate you. I don't want to do it right now so that we don't we can get right to the reading and um, that's also where you'll find links to all sorts of helpful tools like how to figure out what your moon sign is, um, how to cut cords of attachment, lots of free videos and stuff like that. So we're just going to get right to it. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And this is your love reading for November 8th, Election Day through December 8th. What do we have for Leos? And this is for coupled Leos first, okay? Oh, the lovers! So if you've been spending some time apart, maybe you guys have been busy, this is coming back together. Um, if your sex life hasn't been amazing lately, you could expect that this month. Um, this card can also be about choices as well, but I'm totally taking this as that passionate choice. Deciding to be passionate and affectionate and sharing your um, adult physical love with one another. So good for you. What else for Leo couples this month? Um, so maybe that real passion and sexual connection is super needed this month because you're not taking things to the next level quite yet. Um, if you were looking to move in with your partner, not super likely to happen. Now this is a general reading, so I can't say that's the case for everyone, but it just doesn't look like this is the time, um, November 8th through December 8th in which it's going to happen for you. Now. That being said, um, a card jumps out on the floor and this is the challenge that is one or both of you feeling particularly confident about it. But I feel like it's the Leo in the relationship that is the one who's not entirely certain yet. You're entirely certain you want to hump, but you're maybe not entirely certain that you're ready. Now, if you're in a Leo-Leo relationship, um, that's great if it's both of you that agree, right? Nothing to complain about. But if it's one of you, might be some contention. But the advice here is not to walk away from a situation, from a relationship where there is a lot of love, okay? It's saying don't do it. Just enjoy the physical aspects of your relationship at this point in time because maybe you'll get there. Um, it's saying, that, but right now, right now, the uh, relationship is not going to change. It is what it is and where it is because that's where it's supposed to be. You have a number message actually right now and I want to look that up for you quickly. Um, sorry, I can't move quicker. <laughs> okay. It's a message from your angel saying that um, trust that everything is working out in divine order. Like it's possible that things will work out the way that you want them to if you have faith, but at the right time, when the time is right, when um, God, Allah, Spirit, guys, the universe kind of says now is the time, so don't try to force it, okay? Just enjoy this month. Because if you do try to force it, bad luck. Bad luck in your relationship. What else for coupled Leos? Um... This is really wonderful. This is about faith and fidelity. This is saying, um, <laughs> no, you or your partner uh, is not like are not likely to cheat this month, um, and it could be for a lack of opportunity to do so. But even if it, even if there's opportunity, it's just not going to happen. They're not excited about it. Like the, it's not. Maybe they still don't appreciate what they have in the relationship enough. A lot of us don't appreciate our relationships as much as we should all the time, right? It happens. We get comfortable in relationships. However, this is just saying there's no willingness. There's no desire to. Like it doesn't sound fun or exciting. So why do it? Um. So. But that being said, there could be some things, um, some untruths. But I mean, that's every month, right? <laughs> um, but it's like one of you can feel it. One of you is not being completely honest with the other person. And maybe that's about your lack of confidence in moving in together or um, getting married or getting engaged or something like that. And the other person can sense it. And that's bringing um, a lot of sadness. So really, your, your strongest connection this month is your physical connection, and that's going to make you both feel a little bit more secure in the relationship. You have another number message, and that one just says that the changes you've been considering are suggested to you, 
by your angels, um, and you're answering your prayers, you know, by listening to your gut instincts, to your intuition. What is it that you're looking for? What is it that you want? And um, so maybe you do want to take your relationship to the next level, but right now, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it comes this um, sort of vibration of peace and harmony, right? And so where you're like, oh, I don't want to rock the boat. That's divinely guided. That's your angels telling you, like, don't rock the boat. Like, it's not broke, don't fix it. You don't have to push things forward. Time is going to pass no matter what. Like, you don't have to push it. Um, it's saying, so you're not crazy. Like, if all of a sudden you stop really pushing and advocating for what it is that you want. Now, if you're the one who, um, because not everybody is in a Leo Leo relationship, um, if you are the one who's like, gosh, I don't want to do this, that's for a reason, okay? And you're right, and you shouldn't. Um, it's saying that that sort of tie is just not comfortable yet because there are still some things in your relationship that are like maybe a little bit toxic or have the potential to become that way or um, are just not quite healthy yet, like you haven't resolved those issues. And by being together at this point in time, they would only inflate. Um, and make you real sad. So you're doing the right thing right now. It doesn't mean never. It just means right now in this current time period, November 8th through to December 8th. What else for couples? Whoa. Maybe being honest about that. Maybe phrasing it that way. Just say, hey, I'd like to work through these things with you and continue to grow our relationship so that when we do come together, because we both want that at some point, that it's not unstable and unhappy. Well, good. I'm glad we resolved it. Um, some of you have a challenge this month within your relationship in regards to it just being a lot of work. Um, and it's funny that that's piggybacking on what we were just talking about. Um, it's a lot of work to communicate effectively. You might be stuck in patterns in which, um, like in communication patterns that just aren't the best, where you start to talk openly and honestly, um, respectfully, and then just shit hits the fan and it's insults and it's attacks and it's not healthy. Um, and those are the things that we need to work through, but it's a lot of work before we come together. And so this is just saying, um, it's probably not going to be as hard as you think so long as you stay positive focused, but it will be slow, exceedingly slow, so slow. And the fire signs are all about quick movement, so um, try so hard to keep your patience. Okay, love bugs? Now, for Leos who are single, what do we have this month? Um, this is like a caution not to put too much effort into trying to date someone or um, or anything like that, like if they're not receiving at the same rate, like if you're not receiving at the same rate, like if they're, if you're the one who always has to reach out, eh, let it go, you know? If you are sending um, really long text messages, like asking about their day and all these things and you're getting short responses, let it go. It's just not right. Um, they're not going to treat you fair. So, bye, Felicia. Let's move on to the next one, right? Uh, what else for single Leos? Um, so some of you have to do a court, a courts of attachment kind of release here. Um, still thinking about your ex so much that you are not like really in a position where you could have a wonderful relationship with someone that you would meet. Um, some of you are just feeling too. Like, gosh, you know, even though my relationship with my ex, like, I'm kind of thinking about that. Maybe I want to go back to that because it's so much goddamn work to try to get to know somebody. Like, there were things wrong with the relationship, but it was comfortable. Like, I knew what to expect. Um, might be what you're thinking about right now. And um, maybe things could be different this time. Okay? Maybe they could. Um, but... There's an element here for a lot of you um, where it's like nitpicky. One of you is nitpicking the other, and it might be you nitpicking your partner. Uh, this time, it would have to be much different. You couldn't do that. You couldn't be a nag. And so if you're watching this, you know, partway through the month, 
and or in the beginning of the month in this time period and then you come back and you watch it later and now you're a couple see that part about hey maybe it's not the right time there's things we need to work on this is exactly what I'm talking about now some of you are just um, being a little bit reckless okay if you're not in that position where you're thinking about an ex um, maybe being a little bit reckless in your love life uh, going out, handing your phone number out all over the place, um, partying pretty hard, not really paying attention to your responsibilities. <laughs> What's going to happen with that? Reality check. Somebody's going to call you out on it and it might hurt your feelings a little bit, but listen, okay? Um, don't play the victim and be like, oh, I'm so sad and blah, blah, blah. Just, just change what you're doing. It's that simple, okay? Everybody does need that release. Everybody needs some freedom. Everybody needs fun sometimes, but maybe your fun's been carrying on a little bit longer than is healthy, like one weekend, one Saturday, every other weekend, but not, you know, like four nights a week. Come on, guys. Get a, get a grip. Get it together. Um, <laughs> so this is saying, don't stop doing things that are fun. It could just be a little tweak in your behaviors, a little... It doesn't mean you don't you can't go out and do things that um, bring you joy, you know, but but that's what it's saying. It says get real with yourself, be honest with yourself, even though it's hard. So I don't want you to feel like I'm picking on you or anything, but somebody needed to hear that message, and I hope that you take it to heart. Um, you have to do something a little bit different than you have been. What else for single Leos? Um not maybe feeling real happy about being single. So how do we change that? How can we this month put ourselves in the best position to attract a mate that's worthy of us, that's worthwhile? You have to get over that idea that it's, <laughs> first of all, first and foremost, that it's challenging to get to know new people and have the patience to try. Um, and it might take you being the extrovert here and reaching out to other people. Now, Leos are so magnetic, right? They just have this energy where other people are drawn to them. They're attracted to them. And so you can usually sit back and, you know, it's like that come hither. Like, people just show up. People reach out. Like, you don't even give them your phone number and they find a way to get it and they start texting you. Um, and that's not your fault, you know? It's, it's not your fault you're so hot. But, but, Leos... Um, this time you might need to be the one to reach out. This time you might need to ask someone for their phone number. This time you might need to be the one um, sending out a text message or a phone call. And it's like, don't think that you're above this. Like, I saw this cute little meme that I shared on Facebook quite a few months ago that it was like, you know what? I might have saved it here somewhere on my, on my laptop on my desktop okay maybe not but it said something it was like the um dos equis commercial it's like i don't wait let me think about this for a second hmm i'll have to find it sorry it's something like Gosh darn it, it's going to drive me nuts. Just give me one more second. I'm so sorry, but I really, really want to find it really badly, like super crazy badly. I have it here. Do, 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 do. Sorry, 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 sorry. Just looking, looking, looking. One more second. I wish this was more entertaining for you. Now's a good time to pee or something if you're watching this video. Da, 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 da. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm just scanning my little Facebook quick. Almost. Almost. <laughs> So speaking of Facebook, if you like the page, um, that's a good way to know when the videos are going to release because I can't always get all 12 signs out at the same time. So if you're wondering like, gosh darn it, this B is so slow, how much longer till these videos come out, that's where you're going to get the updates and kind of know who's next and, and when it's next and all of those things. Oh goodness gracious. Almost, almost.
Well, at this point, we've wasted a lot of the video, so I'm kind of wondering if maybe I should just get back to the reading. Ugh, sorry. Sorry, we just totally wasted so much time there. I think what it said, though, was I don't always care, but when I do, it's about myself. <laughs> okay? So, anyway, point is, is like, being so self-focused, like kind of like teetering on narcissism and, um, you know, like that's just not cute. It's not nice and it's not cool right now. And just like kind of taking this attitude where, um, your pride is more important than anything and actually like kind of being misguided as to what, how other people perceive you. Like you think that they're going to see you one way when it's not even accurate. Um, the tower, scary. It's actually not scary. This is wonderful. Sometimes we have to have little dramas. Sometimes things, um, little spats, things have to kind of fall apart so that new, better things can come in their place. Who might that be with though? Um, oh, it's you with you, with your own little feelings and not even little feelings, but it's like how you achieve emotional balance. Like you might this month have to do some emotional work and just have like a good cry, um, something like that. S get a little bit depressed so that once you hit that bottom, you can come out of it feeling amazing, right? Like I don't know if you know this about a lot of um, really super spiritual people. The way they became that way is because they went through some serious-ish, right? Like their life like totally fell apart and then they had nowhere left to turn but to the divine. And then they sought comfort in that. And then, you know, the more that they sought comfort in that, um, the more they relied upon it and the more spiritual they became and then began to share their wisdom and their gifts. So um, maybe that's what has to happen for you so that you're like super open and available to attract other loving people to you. People who would be um, empathetic to what you've gone through and can um, relate to you. Does that make sense? Now, um, but... For some of you, there could be someone in your midst, someone that you are um, talking to, you're looking at, you've got a crush on. Um, maybe this is your ex again, where you both want the same thing, but you have different ideas on how to get there, okay? And so it's constant bickering. So if that's the case, if that's been the case, on again, off again, back and forth for a while, well, guess what? You can expect some more of that this month. Um, but... Keep your thoughts positive. Keep your thoughts elevated. Don't try to dictate um, how you're going to get that end result, like how it looks to you. Don't try to manifest it that way, just the end result. Because the universe and God, Allah, spirit guides, angels, they work in mysterious ways and they know the best way for you. And you can divine something amazing like that you didn't even realize, okay, could happen that way. Things will just line up, but you have to stay positive focused and make your affirmations. And it's actually kind of better if you can make your affirmations that you'll just be in the relationship that is um, for your highest good, as opposed to maybe pining for a certain person in a certain way, because you could end up disappointed that way. Um, asking for your soulmate. If you're asking for your soulmate this month, is it possible you could meet them? Yes. Is it more likely that it will be towards the end of this month, um, like December 8th or moving into the next one? Yeah, because you're clearing out emotional space and making the um, making yourself available to attract the right person at the right time. These things do take times, but time, but the universe will work on it for you. Okay, so that's really wonderful news for Leos. Um, anything else before we're done? Yeah, um, so you can expect soon that if you are putting positive affirmations out that the right person comes into your life, that you will soon be emotionally fulfilled and you will be with your soulmate. So wonderful news. You have a number message and then we're done. It is, this is a message for you to believe in yourself and your life purpose and the angels want you to know that you are qualified and ready to follow your dreams. You totally are. So have faith. Put those positive affirmations out there for what you want. Because it says stay positive and take action without delay. So start right now. I am attracting right now the perfect person for my life. I am attracting a wonderful, beautiful relationship with my soulmate right now. I expect that I will meet them very soon. 
and that they're ready for me and I am ready for them. Okay? Love and light, Leos. 